Hey everyone, this is Christina D, aka Shorter Than the Easel, with a speed painting for once. I'm actually doing a proper speed painting. That is sort of an inspired video. And by inspired, I mean, yeah, no, I'm pulling a Ross Draws. <laughs> I'm pulling a Ross Draws because my half asleep but one night after taking some selfies was like, I kind of look like the Joker in this. You know what would be cool if I turned this into me as the Joker holding a card? So I did. So that's what this video is. This video is a result of my half asleep but five minutes to midnight thinking this would be a fun idea. And then after getting the idea, thinking that would be a fun video. And if you notice, I, well, as you will notice, I go from Metabang Paint to Clip Studio Paint Pro? Clip Studio Paint? I'm just gonna say Clip Studio, because that's easier. But I mostly started this... I edited the picture initially on my phone, and then just continued working on it on my computer. And then just swapped it on over to my personal favorite program to use for final pictures. But this picture, A, A was fun. This was probably one of the most fun challenges I've done so far. And it's just the result of a stupid idea that I had one night. And B? Wait, did I say one to start off? Or did I say A? Either way, I'm saying B. But B has taught me a lot. And C... I have never said, how does he make it look so easy so many times. <laughs> I usually don't say that. I said that literally every time I opened the program to work on this. <laughs> like, I even went back and watched some of Ross's videos. I was like, how does he make this look so easy? Like, he just opens a paint program. And, like, he opens Photoshop and just can transform people so easily. And I'm just like, how? Like, this took me about, like, a week, week and a half to do. <laughs> and I tried my best to put this into one relatively decently timed video. <laughs> but, holy crap. This was one hell of a challenge. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how this video came to be. But I also have some things that I want to talk about with you guys regarding the channel. I know I use a lot of my videos as updates. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> it's it's a stupid thing that I... I hate the fact that I apologize for things. I apologize way too much. But I'm gonna apologize, so sorry this is another partial update. I have started sort of planning videos ahead. Because I should have done that a while ago. I mean, I sort of did originally when I did Monster Monday and Mythical Monday, but since I stopped those, yeah, since I stopped those series, I really haven't planned anything. So for the first time in a while, I've started planning videos, and granted, this was an unplanned one, but it became a planned one once I was like, you know what, this should go on my channel, because <laughs> that'll be interesting. So after this, I also have a Meet the Artist Q&A that I already have questions to answer for. I, I took to Art Amino and Instagram and asked you lovely folks what you wanted me to answer, and I kind of went to Saraha, but that also was a, it kind of responded, <laughs> responded, it resulted in a question that was more geared towards my Instagram and kind of put me in a funk because then it made me rethink how I was doing things and I was just like, you know what, no. My Instagram is more like my social media. It's a place where I want to be honest with you guys. It's a place where I want to post what I want to post because it's not my portfolio. My portfolio would be things like my art station or the gallery section of my art site or my deviant art, not my Instagram. So, I'm gonna do what I wanna do on there. 
but I will try to limit myself to how many works in progress shots I do. And you just gonna have to deal with it. So Saraha really didn't result in too many questions, which is why I took to Instagram and Artemino. And speaking of Artemino, I'm also starting to integrate that more. And I, I'm gonna start adding the link to my Artemino in the description from now on. So if you want to follow me on there, you can. Because I'm starting to do polls, I'm starting to post more on there, I'm starting to do like sneak peeks of videos to come on there. And I'm asking you guys like what you want to see, like what kind of videos that I want to do that you want to see. So it's stuff that we both want to do and see. And that sounded weird. But you get the idea. That way I can start sort of integrating you guys and I'm gesturing to my computer, which feels weird because I know you guys can't see this, but I certainly can. And I'm talking to my computer and this feels weird. But I'm gonna sit on my hands and just act like that didn't happen. But yeah, no, I wanna start, I wanna start sort of communicating with you guys, start getting you guys more involved and start creating more of an audience and a community, well, more of a community than an audience. Because like, I want the comment section to be a place where you guys can sort of support each other, not just support me. I want to be a place that's positive, a place, just, just a nice little social hangout kind of thing. Where we're supporting each other. But I want to include you guys more often in these videos. So that's why I took to Artemino and started doing things like polls. So like that, that vlog video where I went over my favorite art supplies. That was the result of a poll I took on Instagram. I, I keep wanting to say Instagram by default. That's, that's the result of a poll I took on Artemino. And I have a poll for a future video that will go up after the Feed the Artist. So if you guys want to follow me on Artemino, the link will be in the description below and it will be from now on. And I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is. So this is Christina G, signing out.